welcome to a new flash review video and today we're going to talk about cooking games. From cooking mama to overcooked, cooking games have gone a long way in creating a fun and genuine cooking experience for gamers, but haven't you ever dreamt of cooking in a proper, huge professional kitchen? Well, your prayers have been answered since June 2019 when Big Cheese Studio released Cooking Simulator. And although the logo might lead you to believe you're about to commit a gruesome murder, it is indeed a cooking simulation game aiming at being the most realistic and authentic cooking game ever with real life physics. The game can be played in a variety of modes like the career mode which includes some proper leveling and Gordon Ramsay breaking the fourth wall to help us get through it. Yeah, there you go. On top of unlocking the usual perks like new recipes and ingredients, career mode allows you to activate extra realistic perks like the ability to hold scorching hot food items with your bare hands, the power to make plates or bottles unbreakable, or to instantly clean your entire kitchen at the wave of a wand. Like, can you imagine if that existed for real? Because if you think your kitchen gets dirty when you make pasta at home, this game takes it to an entirely new level. Any container placed on a slightly uneven surface stains. And since they take quite a while to clean up and your orders are limited in time, most of the time at the end of your shift, the kitchen ends up looking something like that. I don't think I'm getting my deposit back. The game is extremely hard, which makes it absolutely hilarious to play. The real life physics make any small task completely tedious, like flipping a steak. I'm, I'm trying, I swear, I'm trying so hard right now. And if that wasn't enough, the level of exactitude for some dishes is completely crazy. You can get a pretty perfect order, but any small error can reduce the rating dramatically. Here, for instance, I got downrated because I served the wrong number of slices of lemon on the fish. Like, can you imagine a customer in real life causing trouble because, well, on the menu, there were four slices of lemon and I only got three, so... This is unacceptable! As a result, you just end up preparing most of the food crazy in advance in hope that somebody will order it. And when the order comes through... <clears throat> Yeah. The good news though is that the food doesn't seem to perish, so you can easily serve half-cooked tuna that's been on the countertop glazing under the summer sun for a week and still get 5 stars! Yum! Now, the real fun in this game really happens when you play in sandbox mode. A game mode where you can test out recipes without the pressure of the timer and properly give life to your wildest and most chaotic fantasies. Ever dreamed of being proper chaotic in your kitchen? Go for it! <laughs> okay, I don't know what I was expecting, but that caught me by surprise anyway. <laughs> Let's have a think, what other crazy thing could we be doing? Metal pots in the microwave? Uh, yes please! Burn the cooking book on the stove? Hell yeah! Want a blue torch a place? Oh, wait, wait! Okay, no, I think I'm, I regret my decisions. I think that was a bad idea. I've tried dousing the flames with something, but I think it's alcohol. It's not helping. Oh no, 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 it's bad. Oh wait, look, I think I'm a Targaryen. I'm impervious to fire. That's pretty cool. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen, everybody! And the wacky physics just add to the hilarity of the game. You stand too close to a door with a plate. Boom, no more plate. I might have to redo that dish for the customer now. Oh, yeah, you know, five seconds roll. I can't serve food from the floor, can I? Can, can I? Oh, oh well. Mmm, smells nice. Finger in, lick it. Tastes nice. You can almost consider this game to be a horror game, seen as the dishes have a tendency to become sentient. <laughs> like, look at the egg and sausage. I kind of like the fact that the soul of the dish knocked the bowl over like this is too much power. You shall not be consumed. But if you get bored of cooking, you can just train yourself at darts or throwing sausages out of the window. Here we go, score! Okay, I know you're all wondering what good French cooking looks like, so let me demonstrate for you. We are going to start with some tomatoes, some onions of course because French, and then some garlic. And uh, yeah, let's let's say a lot of garlic. You know, 
When the recipe say put five cloves of garlic, you should put double. Once we have the garlic, let's put it on the stove. Here we are with our mixture that has 1.8 kilograms of garlic. And I feel like in order to cook it, we probably need to add some liquid. I'm thinking lime juice because uh, we need to add a little bit of acidity to counterbalance the quantity of garlic. There we go. And maybe some white wine because white wine is French. A few moments later. Alright, once this is all cooked and you have some shards of glass for the texture, let's put it all in the mixer. Make sure, obviously, that you get all of the garlic, you don't want to miss out on some of the, the garlic bits. Then add some glass shards for the texture. In the mixer, of course, we can get ourselves a little shard of glass for the texture and... Oh wait, hold on! It looks like my wand actually has magical superpower because the content of my bowl has now disappeared. You know, there's actually still a lot of soup on the floor, so maybe the best thing I could do is like mop and, uh, and collect some of that delicious flavor off the floor for extra taste. And then maybe we just we just serve the sponge, which contains all of the uh, all of the soup. Let's add the one to give our uh, customer superpower. And here we go. Well, apparently even that has perfect flavors, perfect temperature. The customer wasn't happy because of the shards of glass. Overall, the game is just hysterical and I really recommend it just for the giggles. I actually had a lot of fun playing it because it was both challenging when you play the career mode and really goofy and wacky when you play the sandbox mode. And apparently there's also a couple of DLCs available where you can own your own pizza place, a bakery, we even cook food in a nuclear shelter. Actually, feel free to tell me if this is something you'd like to see in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay hydrated.